Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So today we have got the most fantastic lady called Teresa, who has gone from being a size UK 28 down to, well, she told me she was a 16 to 18, but I've just seen her come into the studio and I know she's not a 16 to 18. So and I think that's very, very common, isn't it, amongst people who have lost a lot of weight. They still feel that they are not as far on their weight journey as probably everybody else sees they are. We're going to be tackling that today and often it's a mind thing. So if I can show her that she can fit into a size pair of 12 trousers, for example, and not the 18 that she thinks she's in, then hopefully that will help her continue on her weight loss journey as well. So I'm really excited to introduce her to you. So welcome, Teresa. Thank you very much for coming today. Really, really excited to be able to help Teresa because you have lost a lot of weight haven't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you've gone from a UK 26 to 28 to well you say a lot smaller than I think. Well I she thinks she's a 16 to 18 yeah. so um, are we okay to talk about your troubled areas? So if you can see here this section here so we often call it a um, an apron stomach in styling. It is an area of concern sure, around yeah. here where she's got these beautifully slim shoulders and um, really nice proportion bust as well. But what it's my job to do is to make this disappear. Yeah. And do you know how I'm going to do that? I'm going to work all at the top here. So what people often think is if that's their troubled area, that's what they need to focus on. No, you need to focus on the opposite area to that and I need to balance you out. So effectively, we can't do anything about that shape around there. We can disguise it a little bit, but we can't make it smaller right now, here and now. So in order for that to look smaller, we've got to broaden her on the shoulders here and distract around this area. And I'm thinking you've probably got a really lovely waist in there. It's coming. It's coming yeah. back. Well, I'm going to show the audience that that is going to be lovely right under your bust and then we'll just skim over it. So what we're going to do is put Teresa into hair and makeup with a lovely Hannah. Thank you. Everybody loves Hannah. Um, so we're going to make her all look lovely and then it's just so you feel more confident Perfect. in the clothes really rather than standing here with no makeup on on YouTube. It's not ideal, is it? So I'm just doing a bit of behind the scenes for you here, the lovely Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Oh, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, nice so, to see you. Hello. Hi, so I've caught you doing the hair bit. We've done loads of, I don't know if a lot of people know, but you do hair as well as makeup, I don't know. you? Yes, a bit of everything. Yeah, and I am spotting, you've got the I suit. I heard you've got one. I know. Do you I'm know loving what she's, my colour too. <laughs> Oh, that's the special edition yes. one, isn't it? Um, so I, well, every time Hannah comes here, she nicks my Zuvi halo, which is a hairdryer. Did you ever see the YouTube video that I made showing how I use this hairdryer? Yes, I did. Were and you I mortified? Think, yeah, no, 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 I wasn't. No, not at all. Because the thing is, the great thing about it is it's user friendly. It, you know, yes. it's fantastic. It's, you don't have to be a hairstylist to be able to use it. I know, so but I think I think I, I think I would have let you down. Um, <laughs> So, Brass, do you want to tell the audience <laughs> yes, what you I will are do, using? actually, because it is the Zuvi. It's, yeah. I'm going to turn it on to show you. Okay. To start with. Or the light. It's light think. technology. Can you yeah. see that? Catch yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It is actually quite quiet, I suppose, you know, since yeah. other hair dryers on the market. But it works on light care technology, so it's all to do with how nature dries up um, moisture outside. So it's yeah. when you use this on your hair, it's like you've just let your hair dry naturally. Yes. It's really kind to the hair, great for people with sensitive scalps. If you've got very fine hair, it's fantastic. But even equally, if you've got thicker hair as well, because a lot of the time we put like masks on our hair and we use, um, you know, sort of 
with different treatments on our hair yeah. but actually comes back to what you're using and this is fantastic because it's so kind to the hair but they've done this patented technology that speeds everything up so you're not compromised on time yes. which is key because yeah. people with thicker hair don't want to spend a long time yeah. so this is great so it is a fantastic tool it is so simple yeah. and easy to use say it's lightweight it's portable looks beautiful that's the special edition one isn't it because it I've is. just got the white one yes and um, I love the white one yeah, as well yeah. but yeah this color is absolutely gorgeous it comes yeah. with three different attachments as well yeah. so and they're magnetic so you literally pop them on like so yeah a great. diffuser for the lovely curls and the nice bounce You've got the lovely one here, which is that way around. I actually okay. never know what that one does. What yes, is that so one that just um, diffuses the heat more evenly. Okay. So yeah. that's a really nice one. But you can just rough dry off and then go in when the hair is, you know, sort of 60% dry with right. this. Okay. And then go in with your styling tool. So when you want to create the lovely, lovely bouncy blow dry and okay. really sleek look. So that gives that it, a great look for you. And more behind the scenes for you here. We've got Roz. I'm hoping to get Roz on camera later, oh, aren't I, Roz? Yeah, Roz is our senior stylist. She's also our colour specialist. We've got Sarah there, who I think you met earlier on. Okay, we're coming back to you, Hannah. Oh, oh lovely Teresa. <laughs> very, very nice. Hannah does online makeup. Uh, styling for us which is why we're showing you the end product because you look absolutely lovely you happy with that love it really yeah, really nice and the hair looks gorgeous as well i'm loving this hair dryer it's really lightweight it's great it doesn't deposit too much heat onto the hair yeah. it's great for people with sensitive scalps and also if your hair's becoming more fine it really but it delivers it's yeah fantastic. you don't need to sell it to me because i think you copied you me didn't you I, know, I did i did i did but then i've just also gone over with the babyliss cordless waving wand which is absolutely brilliant you know I yeah, love that yeah. and um, it's simple and easy to use and just give that lovely bend in the hair just to finish mm -hmm. off but yeah gives a nice soft curl and I think that's what most people want lovely. something nice and yeah. easy yeah so okay, we so chose the Bobbi Brown um, long wear eye shadow sticks these are beautiful creamy, really easy to use really easy to use you can smudge it out with your finger and also they last yeah and that's key because we want products to work hard for us I've also got the Bobbi Brown lip tint now this is gorgeous I, on my hand you won't really see it it's like a bar it transfers to your lip color so it's really beautiful and very moisturizing I to tell you about the Ilia product as okay. well this is a skin tint it's fantastic it's got um, hyaluronic acid in it. it's got squalene um, so it's got um, good products for your face but equally it goes on it's got um, you know sort of it's like a foundation it's very light so it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation. It's like your skin, but a little bit better. Yeah. Um, it's a, a lovely blusher. It's the Stila blusher. It's beautiful. Yes. Nice, lovely, yeah. fresh for the Steely summer. And I'll link that one. But this, I'm just going to give you a little spray, actually. Oh, this is it's the menopausal gorgeous. spray. Oh, you no. <laughs> menopausal spray I'm not I'm never without it <laughs> the cow dilly spray it's an elixir and what it does it just you know throughout the day and you, f you look in the mirror and you think oh my makeup's really sitting in my lines and creases and I yeah. you know I, I don't want that spray this on it will freshen it will pep up your makeup and it smells like a spa doesn't it's it absolutely lovely. beautiful it's so lovely oh good all right well I need to steal <laughs> Teresa back otherwise we're not going to get this filming Sorry. done so oh, let's get started <laughs> Teresa <laughs> Okay, she's back, looking absolutely gorgeous, feeling confident. Yeah, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. It is really, really nice, isn't it? So I think perhaps what we should tell the audience is that you are going on a lovely holiday. You've got a lot of travel involved. Yeah. Where was it? Phoenix? No, um, New York, Denver, Boston and then home so a lot of flying a lot of flying so she wanted several outfits that she felt comfortable in that she could still go on the plane and then do your sightseeing afterwards and things like that and I just think this looks absolutely beautiful um, it's from John Lewis and why it's working here is because we completely balanced her out so first of all, did anybody, I'm talking to you like you can talk back to me, but did any of you notice her stomach? Have you thought about your stomach? No, no. No, because it looks completely flat. There's just no hint of that going on whatsoever. And the main reason for that is because everything from top to toe, including her beautiful hair and makeup that's just been done, right down to the bottom, 
is attracting your eye, I suppose. It's not about just wearing a tight pair of jeans where everybody's looking in that area. Mm. Although I always do say that, because if you have got a lower stomach area, there's not many people that will actually look down there. Yeah. Because it's quite close to your private area, it's not like people will stare. So I bet you they don't look as much as you think anyway. But that said, when we look at it as a whole, everything is styled. So we've balanced her out. So the reason we balance out, I know you've watched a lot of my YouTube videos, so I'm sure you know that. So I'll talk to the camera rather than I talk to yourself. But it's always about the hourglass figure. So you're always trying to create the points here of the hourglass figure and then the points down here. Because when you do that, all this middle section is going to look smaller. And that's exactly what we've done here with you. So we've broadened you out here and it's very subtle. We've just got a collar going on. We haven't even got shoulder pads. So if we wanted to add even more structure, we would just put a little bit of a shoulder pad like that, okay? And then that shoulder pad would then match the bottom of the trousers and would probably make you look even small slender around that midsection. But she's got the zips going down here, which is halving that stomach area up. So just literally dividing the stomach. She's got a white, tight, fairly cropped top on. And look at this beautiful shape. So can you see this beautiful shape here? Well, I've followed her bust line down and it's come under her bust and then it sits flat over the very area she was conscious of. And the reason we do that is because if we had gone baggy from that bust area, all it was going to do was add volume to the very area that you don't want to add volume. So it's a little bit like you have to do opposite to what you think. You think I've got to hide myself mm. because that's going to cover my tummy. Mm. But no, I want to see the other parts of your body. I want to see the strong shoulder. I want to see the bus line. And then I'll build it up around here so that midsection isn't even seen. So we think you look lovely. Thank you. Uh, everything is going to be linked. Now, one thing I'm going to do now is obviously we've got her in a wider trouser, but I'm going to put her now in a more tapered trouser with exactly the same on. And we're going to see how you feel in that, whether you feel smaller, bigger, and what that does to your profile. Okay. okay. Okay, so all I have done now is change the trouser for more of a slightly tapered leg trouser. Um, but if you don't mind just stepping oh, sure. watch yourself there. Um, so what I have done, I've left the one leg down where it naturally comes to. Now for me, that's too much navy, too much dark across the whole of your uh, lower torso. Okay. I want to see the ankle, which is why I've turned it up on this one. But the very nature of this, it's a beautiful fabric, isn't it? Mm, it it drapes really yeah. nicely. But I almost think that that's a little bit too casual for this trouser. So if I was you, I would have these taken up professionally. So it's a nice, it's just a, an ankle grazer, basically. Okay, yeah. Because to me, showing the foot there and the little bit of skin just helps break up the whole of the outfit. And a lot, we get a lot of questions about where is that sweet spot on somebody's ankle. And it is a matter of just looking in the mirror and working it out. So all I would be doing now is sort of taking the step back. So one is a little bit high here. So that one's a little bit too high. So I, as a rule of thumb, usually about two fingers from the ankle bone. So I would go one lower. And it also depends on what shoe she's got on, because if you had got a trainer on now and the trainer covers the majority of your foot, you would then have to go up one higher in order to see the flesh of your ankle. Okay. Yeah. okay? So sometimes it's about higher and lower and depending on what shoe you've got on. But that's a lovely alternative. You like these because the pockets, don't yeah. you? Yes. Yeah. So but I can see that the um the wide leg, I can see how that improves the silhouette. The silhouette, yeah. yeah. Well, I actually think on you, you can do tapered right. and you can do wide leg as long as things up here are going on. Because if I if I took this off you and it was just, I won't do it because, um, so Teresa won't mind me saying that she's conscious of her arms, aren't you? So in a lot of the styling, we want to try and cover those as much as possible. But if um, she just had this top on like that and then the wide leg, then that would make you look more of a pear shape. It's only the fact that we've built you up there that then you can wear the wide leg as well, or indeed the tapered leg, but either looks lovely. 
And you, you look lovely getting on your flight in that. <laughs> but let's see what else we can find for you. Okay, so we've changed it up again. So this is a slightly different silhouette on her. So now we've got some much tighter navy trousers. And we've gone even tighter because she's got these beautifully shaped legs. And the reason we can go tighter here is because the shoulder pads in this blazer have really broadened you. So we've gone broader there and then the natural shape of the blazer has gone in and kicked out. So here is the end of your um, hourglass shape, okay? So that and that is now ma matching, which means we can go tighter down here and then there's just no mention of the tummy. You said they're really comfy, aren't they? They are so comfortable. I could almost feel I could work out in them there. That really? Yeah. Okay, so they are Bowden. We will link everything as normal. The jacket, so bear in mind that you said you're a 16 to 18. The jacket is a size 12. Okay, so I think some headwork needs to be going on to realise that you have lost a lot of weight. And I think this is the problem that we see a lot when we do our online styling, is that people will say, um, you know, I've got this really nice jacket, it's, do, it's meant to do all the things that you said it's done, and they put it on, and I'm like, well, you've got it two sizes too big, <laughs> and that's why it doesn't look like it should do. So getting your size in right is really important. So if you are buying online, buy two sizes, buy smaller and bigger and try them on the comfort of your own home because I think with yourself, you're going to be very surprised that you're a lot smaller than you think you are. But that looks beautiful, really, really nice. The bag is from John Lewis. Um, I can't remember where the shoes are from, but we'll link them for you. Okay, so um, Teresa needs a round of applause because it is probably the hottest day of the year so far. And she thought, oh, that's great, a linen top, nice and cool. And then I went and threw a cashmere jumper over her arms. But it looks really nice, doesn't it? And the reason I've done that is because she's going on this traveling experience and when you're traveling, you need layers. The plane is always really cold. You want them when you're um, out and about in the day in case you're out later on in the evening. So thinking about the entire outfit, including the last layer, is really important because we all know you look beautiful in that color, just like that. But then come the evening, you're going to be cold. What I don't want you doing is putting a jacket on that doesn't match or anything. So just having a neutral cashmere or, or just a nice cotton jumper, it doesn't have to be cashmere, is always nice for finishing the outfit off. But that looks absolutely lovely. And we just wanted to show you how that pop of colour with her beautiful eyes and the makeup that Hannah's done there is just really gorgeous. And again, it's all tight around the tummy area. Yeah. And I really can't feel it, you know. I think this yeah. is doing this is doing the work, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's halving you. That's yeah. all it's doing. And even the arms of the jumper hanging down is creating some shape. Because sometimes when you have just got a I'll take that off. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you've got a bigger baggy jumper on like that, and then they've got a baggy top underneath, it makes you look baggy all the way over. So you must make sure you combine it with a tighter top underneath. And also another little trick, I'll just throw this down, is to knot something like this. So it goes probably against um, how you want to dress if you've got a little bit of a tummy. But actually the shorter you go on your outer layer, the smaller your stomach will look. Okay, and I will show you this now, just do it very roughly. Can you see now how it's created a waist? If I didn't pull that down, if that was up here, you would probably look hippier because now all of that hip is on display and it kind of goes quite straight from there to there. This elongates a waist and it creates this lovely shape around the stomach area. I'm not sure, I've got loads of girls in the background. Is that working? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. 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 Yeah. It's very hard to see in the camera, but half the team are all no. behind, so it's that's fantastic. working, is it, girls? That's so good. Yeah. Hey, all right, I've managed to get her in some shorts, and how lovely does that look? We were all just saying behind the scenes, this is your colour. It's like that raspberry pink, is it? What do you call it? It's yeah, it's almost fuchsia, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really, really lovely, but both pieces are linen, so they're going to be keeping you cool and nice. I don't think you've worn shorts in a long time, have you? 
A very long very time. Very long time. Decades. Decades. Do you feel comfortable? Yes. You yes, do? Yes, I really do. Great. Okay. Yeah. And I think part of the feeling comfortable bit in shorts is the fact that we're not just all looking at your legs. Okay, we're looking at everything that's going on, even the bag there. And the bag can often act as um, a little bit of a comfort blanket because you, you can effectively cover yeah. up your legs a little bit like that. <laughs> Not that she needs to, but, you know, we all have our insecurities, don't we? Um, but the fact that the white band is showing here and creating that waist gives everybody a central point to look at. But note that they're probably looking sort of around this area. Your belly, your troubled area, is down here. Mm -hmm. and I bet you at home I can see Antonia behind screen is going like this so yeah she's just done the thumbs up which means nobody will have looked down there at all so can you see yourself in the they mirror just fall away here don't they yes they the don't pleat. just hug it yes. they just drop away yes exactly and that's a really good point there because I see a lot of people trying to wear shorts that are too tight mm. and and follow the uh, curve of the stomach and you're right, we've gone, we've followed it from here and it's gone straight down. Mm. So it looks really, really lovely. So we'll link everything. And one last thing to say is that this pink would go lovely with any of the blue trousers that we started off with okay. as well. So it's all about mixing and matching everything together now, especially because she's gone on holiday. I wanted to be able to pick out any top with any pair of trousers, with any pair of shorts, and it will all go together lovely. Oh, I never thought I would. Oh, good. Thank I'm you. glad. <laughs> okay, now for something completely different, but how beautiful do you look in this? Do you feel it? Yes. I, I mean, I would never have picked this up and certainly... So yeah. why wouldn't you have picked it up? What, what about this dress would you have thought wouldn't have worked on you? Maybe the size... 12? Yes, it's, <laughs> it's a size 12. So bearing in mind she believes she's a 16 to an 18, it is a size 12. So if I'd have picked it up in a 16 to 18, I would yeah. have put it on, it wouldn't have looked like this. No. And I would have thought, no, that's not for me. No, because it would have but, made you look bigger. And, it wouldn't but I wouldn't have, your bust and I wouldn't wouldn't have thought, I need a size down. I just thought that's not the right dress for me. Move yes. On. Yeah. Yes, no. The point is, just like the top before, it's following her bust line, so it's tight in here, which means it's coming in underneath her ribcage at her smallest point. It's draping just over that stomach area. So if, for example, this was tight like that, then yes, of course, that would show up your insecure insecurity area. But the fact that it's just hanging off there and it's broadening you down here is brilliant. Now this wouldn't work if it was just single strapped up there. So the reason it's working is that you've got the broadening down there and you've got the broadening of the sleeve here. So often in styling, we see somebody who will say, well, I, I got a skirt to broaden me because that's what you told me to do. But I'm like, but what about the rest of your body? You can never just look at one part of the styling. You always have to look from shoulder down to your feet, basically. And you look absolutely gorgeous, really, really nice. Yeah. So we will link everything for you. And just to mention, we've had to open all the doors up. So I'm sorry if you can hear any traffic or birds or Monty comes flying in, but we are boiling. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> we are very, very hot today. <laughs> so um, don't bother saying about in the comments that you can hear that because we know, but we are having to work with it because it's too hot. We're menopausal. <laughs> So we've got her in a jumpsuit and we all think she looks lovely. You liking this one? Yeah, this is really lovely and it's so cool. Yes, it's really cool. Yeah, so it's a linen blend. Now it's worth noting with linen that if it comes up tight in any particular area, all you have to do is get your hand down there and pull it. So Teresa wanted a little bit more room in this area here. So I've literally just had my hand down her top and I've just pulled it and we've managed to get probably another two or three centimetres out of it. So don't don't let the fact that it's tight in one particular area put it off. Just give it a good old stretch. I have to do it all the time around my thighs because that's my biggest area. Okay, so if we just come a little bit closer, I want to show you something with the shoulder pads. Okay, so 
On this arm here, I have put a shoulder pad in. The reason I've done that is because Teresa doesn't like her arms. And she hadn't actually mentioned the fact that she's got her arms out. <laughs> um, and that's good because hopefully she was looking at everything else. But in order for your arms to look slimmer, you need to create an angle. And that's all that this very small little shoulder pad has done on that side. So if we compare it against this shoulder, I'm hoping that what you can see is a more rounded, broader shoulder and more angle there. So all we do, I've shown these a million times, we'll link them for you. You take the Velcro off like that and you just put your bra strap in there. So I'll just do that. Okay, so now we've got both of the shoulder pads in. So what that is going to do, it's going to create the angle, which means that her arm is going to look smaller. So if we take a step back now, if you look at her from head to toe, she's got the starting point now of your hourglass and she's got structure here which gives us the top point it brings her in underneath her stomach which is her smallest area around here and then the trousers are just slightly tapered so we're following down her shape because she's bigger around this area anyway so we don't want to add too much bulk around that area unless we've got like a blazer on that's really giving you shoulders but there you look lovely and balanced and i think that's perfect for traveling in mm. wear a nice bra because you i say it all the time you'll be sitting on the loony boobs out have a little tank top I <laughs> yeah have a little tank top that's the only disadvantage yeah. but you can recreate this with just a navy pair of linen trousers and a navy shirt it doesn't have to be a whole uh, all in one so let's see what else we can find for her okay so we've been joined by Roz for anybody that doesn't know Roz Roz is our senior stylist does a lot of the face-to-face -face work don't you and yeah. um, a lot of the business ladies as well mm -hmm. and she's our color specialist as well so we thought we would bring her in given that we've just put this mad pop of peak onto on Teresa right now so perhaps Roz you can tell us about her coloring and why a color like this suits her yeah, absolutely. So um, because you're very light in colouring, you've got beautiful light blonde hair and light eyebrows and it's always very important to look at the colour of your eyebrows um, versus your hair colour. And if the whole thing is light, then that's going to mean that you're going to suit light, fresh, bright colours. So therefore, anything that is light and crisp and fresh is going to look fantastic on you and really light you up and colours that are going to make your eyes pop as well. So something like that fresh, bright pink is going to have a great effect of your overall complexion. And then the combination of the white underneath, anything, anytime you add white to a colour, it just automatically lightens it. And so the combination of the white and the white linking back to the white shoe, the whole effect is light and bright, which is the kind of colours that you're going to suit. Yeah. Now, what would, what would have to change if Teresa had grey hair? I get a lot of questions about grey hair from the audience. Yeah, so if your hair was grey, then you would suit cool colours. Oh. And automatically that takes you into anything that has a blue undertone. Um, if it's warm, it's got a yellow undertone. And if it's cool, you have to blue. Now this pink has got a blue undertone to it. So therefore, even if you had grey hair, you would also be suiting that shade of pink. And how can you tell if a colour has got a blue tone to it? So if it's going slightly, um, so that pink I automatically see as having a blue undertone because it is in the purple end of the spectrum. If it was right. slightly orangey and having a sort of peachy shade, yes. that would mean it had yellow in the colour and therefore it would be warm and wouldn't suit grey hair. Right, okay. But um, one thing to note about colour and how Ros works as well is that we say most people can wear most colours, it's just wear on your body that you wear them. Absolutely. It? And the shade, the hue of it. That's it, exactly. Um, and very much what you wear next to your face is so important. Yes, and the other question that we always get, give, get asked over YouTube is, I can't wear whites, I can't wear neutrals. And I always say, rubbish, in 20 years. And I, I, do you I agree? agree with you that that is yeah. completely rubbish and yeah. everybody can wear white. Again, yeah. it's how you wear it and the exactly. type of neutral that you wear. So yeah. if you're warm, then you'll suit more ivory, creamy whites and that kind of level. And if you're cool, then white, crisp, fresh white is going to be your best friend. Yes. 
and it is your best friend in your wardrobe if you want to create a capsule wardrobe where everything mixes and matches. It just brightens up an outfit, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. We had somebody send in a photograph earlier on saying which of these three dresses should I choose for a trip they're going on. Every single one of them yeah. was really dark, wasn't mm. it? It was a summer trip. Mm. We were like, why? Yeah. Brighten make, yourself. Make everything light. Yeah, light. make everything mm. lighter. Um, so anyway, back to the actual outfit that she's got on. So this is from John Lewis again. We will link it. Now, we've gone for sort of the more youthful, brighter, pink, you know, sort of just a more youthful vibe on this one. A skirt, a straight leg skirt with the split up. She's got lovely legs, so why not show them off in the summer? But I appreciate you don't want a really short skirt on. Yeah. So that just allows a little flash of leg there. And this is a two-piece set. Now, notice how short we've gone again on the blouse, even though her stomach is her troubled area. The shorter you go, the more it's elongating underneath, the better the stomach is going to look. And we think it looks amazing. However, Teresa doesn't like the skirt, do you? No. I, no you, I, you speak I, freely, it's fine. I, generally speaking, if I'm gonna do something like that, I'd probably go for a dress. Yes. Because it's only one thing to worry about. Yes. One thing to wash don't. afterwards. <laughs> and and that, is a, that is a really good point. But flipping that on the head when you're traveling, yeah. Oh, yeah. you could wear the shirt with the trousers, the skirt with a jumper. So it gives you more outfit oh, combinations, yeah, 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 which is where our day. thinking yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this just shows you, you know, we can say, oh, yeah. that looks lovely. Yeah. But if a client like doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. So, you know, it's on to the next item because we're not just dealing with body shapes. We're dealing with people's budgets, their lifestyle, their likes, their dislikes, which is why, you know, yourself being online styling all the time. It's a real personalized service that when we've got a one on one client, we really drill down into your lifestyle and everything in order to produce this. Yeah. It's not just a matter of saying, I'm a similar size to Teresa, so that will fit me. It's, are has, you a similar yeah, size? It has to work with your lifestyle. Yeah, has, yeah. absolutely mm. does. So there we go. You can go. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so next we've got this beautiful dress. It's got pockets. We love a pocket. And the reason that this dress is working is because it's a one piece item that is recreating the hourglass shape for you. I'm just tucking your bra in there Sorry, a little bit. Sorry, to bring a strapless. That's okay, we forgot a strapless, that's not to worry. Um, but that just shows you actually, you can just drop yeah. your straps down, don't you? You don't actually need a, a strapless one. But yes, it's recreating the hourglass shape for you. And again, I get a lot of people in America and everything say, well, I can't wear a blazer, I can't wear the layers to create the shape. So you have to think about the item doing the shape for you. So in the case of Teresa here, we needed to make sure that the dress was going to broaden her on top. We can do this. So you could wear it like that, which is equally as nice. But because the skirt is voluminous as well, then I needed to broaden her further in order to match the same width of the skirt. If, for example, this skirt was more of a pencil shape, mm. then I probably wouldn't have needed to broaden you quite so much, and then that could have stayed up like that. So you need to look at the top of the dress and the bottom of the dress to see where on you you need broadening. So a lot of time people just need broadening down the bottom or at the top. So you buy your dress accordingly. But you can see here how a one-piece item is completely disguising the stomach area. Yeah, and it's so cool. Is it? It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're still a little bit hot it's in very here. very comfortable. <laughs> this is your own belt, isn't yeah. it, that you've put on there? Yeah. Stradivarius. And Stradivarius. And all we've got here is a little grip. And we're just going to use the grip to attach the belt just to keep it in place there. Sometimes I use a little bit of boob tape. Oh, yeah. um, the only problem with the boob tape though is if you need to take the belt off to go to the loo or anything, it becomes unsticky. Okay. So a little sort of bobbin pin there works a treat or an elastic band works well as well. It's made out of 100% Lysol, which is a really breathable moisture wicking fabric. We will link it for you and we will try and find equivalent for the American audience as well. Lovely.
So we've smartened the look up a little bit just because Teresa has got a little bit of a new business venture going on, which probably a lot of the ladies out here are going to relate to. Do you want to tell them what you're up to? Yeah, so later after the summer break, I'm going to be working in organisations, um, my own business, going in and offering menopause um, awareness training for companies. It's a huge thing to keep women in the workplace yes. at that point. Yeah, um, very much so, so yes, yeah, so I'll need to look presentable and support women through going through quite a difficult time. Yeah, so, well, yeah. this would look absolutely lovely for mm. something like that. And we've seen these trousers before where we dress them in a more casual way at the start. Yeah. But just this simple top from John Lewis, you will have seen this before, and that's because I think all of us girls have got this top because it does all the work for us. So we have got the flutters here on the shoulders, it's helping to broaden, it's got the v-neck in, it's that crisp, sort of creamy rather than white colour, so it suits a lot of people. And then we've just teamed it with some white fresh mules. What would ruin this look now is if you end up with a black shoe with it. Yeah. And I see a lot of that with clients. They always think black shoes are the way forward. And we say no, 99% of the time it's a lighter coloured shoe. But that looks really lovely. But more importantly, you could put your Birkenstocks on with that, put a t-shirt on, and then you've got another outfit mm. as well. So, and none of it's going to yeah. crease. This is no. that lovely cheesecloth. It's cool. Yes. These are yeah. super stretchy and comfy. Yeah. I mean, if you're commuting, are absolutely ideal. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yes. Um, comfortable around the stomach area? Yeah. I mean, I was a little bit nervous, but I think you said it looks... Did you yeah. tuck it in without I me did. looking? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> She wanted it down here like that, which actually, to be fair, with this particular top, because it's got a nice little rounded edge, didn't look so bad. But because I shortened her here on the ankle, so I turned the trousers up, if you shorten yourself here, you want to regain the height somewhere else. So I tucked you in a little bit just to regain that. But yeah. No, I can't see anything. I'm not just skins yeah, yeah lovely really really nice great okay so a lovely dress here this one is from Bowdoin it's a hundred percent cotton it's got the pockets in it's got a lovely three-tier skirt I'm not sure if you can make that out or not and it's got the buttons down here so I'd be opening those up a little bit more, flash the leg, and oh, you've got a lovely, um, what have you got on your legs again? Sally Hansen legs, I think it's called, oh, very easy. Yeah, it very looks easy. really good. I haven't used it myself, but Hannah was saying that she's used it before and it's really good, mm. so if we can find it, we'll link it. Um, but this is gorgeous. So the thing about this is that the pattern is really timeless and classic. And there's not many dresses that you can say that about with a pattern. So too many people go down the floral route and things like that, and they can date. But a geoprint like this, or a stripe, for example, doesn't date. And that's the key to longevity in your wardrobe. But everything else about the dress is working as well. So we've got the strong shoulders here, the lovely collar is opening up. I love how it's lined on the inside mm. there. So the white is really fresh against you. It's pulling her in under the waist. I would even go a little bit tighter on that waist, to be honest yeah. with you, because yeah. I think you can afford to go up a little bit higher and sort of, can you, I don't know if you can see a difference there, but I've just sort of pulled it in tight. Are you grab grabbing onto the wall? <laughs> Have I just pushed you back? I'm sorry about that. But yeah, you could go even tighter there on that waist so it follows around her bust. But another really, really lovely one that could be dressed up in the, with those mules that we had on before. Yeah. Or just in your Birkenstocks like I that. I think you'd get a lot of wear out of something like this because it's cool, yeah. it's comfortable, pockets. You feel covered, you feel totally covered up. As yes, yeah. And for me, that would work equally as well with your new business venture. Oh, yeah. And go to a meeting like oh. that where it's cool, but equally just walking around in America on your holiday. So you can really dress up or dress down, that type of thing. Really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to give you privy to a conversation that we have just had. So Teresa has just said to everybody, all the team is behind, should I size up in this jacket when I get it? And everybody said, no. no. Why would you size up in that? That's a medium. It's from Amazon. 
it fits you beautifully. If you go any bigger, it's going to be falling off the shoulders and there's going to be too much fabric here. I think that's where you've been going wrong. It's too, and I get it, it's because your head is still where you used to be. Yeah. Um, but that's not where you are now. You've worked really hard. You know, you can look beautiful. Yeah, um, so talking about the jacket, it is the Amazon jacket that I showed in my last Amazon video. And I actually kept this for myself. It's a size medium. So bearing in mind, I'm an 8 to 10. And as we're seeing now, um, Teresa is more probably a 12 to 13 if it existed on top. And perhaps more of a 14 to slight 16 on the bottom and it fits her just as lovely and she's got it paired with the navy blue denim style of jogger from Marks and Spencers these are back in stock now super comfortable and we've just got the small little top underneath now these are your own aren't they yeah they're mine so you bought them today because you didn't know how to style them yes have you been styling it like that no, I've just gotten out of the wardrobe, put a t-shirt on and thought, oh, I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe right. it's the extra layer that has made it. Could know, be, slim it yeah. down a yeah, little bit. Yeah. If you've been wearing a bigger t-shirt, yes, that's you it. might have been feeling bigger all over. Oh, they're so comfortable. Aren't they comfy? They are. Yeah, they are my favourite jogger. This is what I would put on every night. They look nice because they've got this sort of denim -y look to them. And we will link them for you. Mm. Okay, on the basis of what you've just said, I'm going to put a bigger jumper over now okay. and see if you still like the look of it. And we'll show the audience what that so looks like. So it's the this same thing. joggers that we just had had on but this time we've put the chunky jumper on to see if you still like yourself in it and you do yeah I mean this is such a lovely colour it's yeah. a lovely colour yeah. so I think probably where you've been going wrong is you might have just put a sweatshirt on a plain old normal sweatshirt when I select a jumper for you I am broadening you here with this big open zip collar mm. I'm looking at the lovely detail here like on the sleeves there it's just this sort of balloon sleeve but down there so it looks really nice and classy we've just pulled it up for now because as we've mentioned a few times we're a little bit hot in here today um, the zip is breaking that area up the white is breaking everything up so if I had just put it on like that she probably now looks a hell of a lot bigger than she did a few minutes ago. I'm looking to the girls behind me, is yeah, that right? That's right. It, yeah, looks a lot bigger. So this is where you don't want to just shove a jumper on. You need to think about it a little bit more. And it doesn't take much thinking about just to do these small little tweaks. Even the white they're showing is really, really nice. Yeah, that looks lovely. And what I've got in my trousers. <laughs> we don't know. I don't know where you're in my trousers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to tell you what I've got in my trousers. <laughs> what I've got in my hands is what I was about to say is another pair of trousers that we bought for Teresa that she actually has already worn and she said they are super comfy. Yes. Yeah. These I mean, you can't yeah, they're lovely. <laughs> they're lovely. They're lovely. We're just running out of time, so we can't show you everything. But these give the same silhouette. But what's really lovely about these, she said she was going to do some hiking when she was in America. So these are from Sweaty Betty. So they are a moisture wicking, um, walking type of trouser, but it gives exactly the same silhouette as the comfy at home joggers. And that is really the key to, particularly for your wardrobe is that you can go from the one to the other and you don't have to worry about changing anything yeah. else. So I think they're definitely coming home And they don't crease. I mean, they're, Perfect. Light. they're light. You can roll them up in your bag. Perfect Brilliant. for travelling. Great. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, some of you might recognise this next dress because I wore it in last week's Amazon video. Uh, it's from Amazon. It's really inexpensive. I was wearing the same size that you've got on right now. So could you imagine that you were in the same size as somebody who's an 8 to 10? Never. Never. So what size would you have thought you were going to buy? Would you just... XL, double X. Oh, no, my... Yeah. No, no. So definitely this fits her really lovely. It's one size anyway, so there yeah. wouldn't have been an option. But it just shows you as a one size piece it suited you mm -hmm. and it suited me. It's a work. And look at the beautiful hat on her. She suits a hat really well. Again, Amazon... 
H&M and some Birkenstocks. And she's just got a swimming suit underneath there. I'm not going to open it all up because I think that might be a step too far for you. Yeah. But it did look really lovely. Just open, thrown over that swimming costume. Mm. Light, airy, perfect for the beach. Just really flattering. Yeah, and I think if you haven't got the confidence when you put your swimwear on, yeah. this gives it to you yes. because you feel elegant yes. and completely covered, but you're not boiling. No, yeah. totally. It's yeah. even covering your arms, yeah. but without being boiling hot yeah. as well. So I think that was definitely got to come home with you. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. That was actually Body Shape Masterclass 15. So there are another 14 of them out there. So they cover everybody's shape from probably a size eight to I think a UK 22 that we've had before. Um, ladies with bigger boobs, ladies with stronger shoulders, bigger thighs. So you name it, I've dressed it basically. And do remember that all of the clothes that we've shown today, you can purchase. Purchase. So if you just go to the description box underneath there, there will be some links. And if you could press that subscribe button, I would be really grateful. And for anybody interested in our styling courses, I will also put the link again in the description box for you. But thank you for watching. We will see you next week where we have a summer workwear video for you. So tune in for that one. Thanks very much. Bye bye.